Are you trying to build a sign-up and profile setup flow using React and Redux, but feeling stuck with the Redux form wizard? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle how to implement permanent URLs for each step in your wizard. I totally get it. It can be incredibly frustrating when the wizard doesn't change the URL, making navigation a hassle. If users click the back or forward buttons, it can break the flow. You're definitely not the only one facing this issue. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked how to make the Redux form wizard have permanent URLs for each step, like slash wizard's name, slash wizard, slash profile, and slash wizard, slash photo. If this sounds like your situation, let's dive in. So, why is this important? Permanent URLs enhance user experience by allowing users to navigate easily without losing their progress. It also helps with bookmarking and sharing specific steps in the wizard, and stick around. I have a great tip at the end that will make your wizard even more user-friendly. You won't want to miss it. To implement permanent URLs for each step in the Redux form wizard, the user should first set up React Router in their application. This will allow them to manage navigation and URL changes effectively. Next, the user should define routes for each step of the wizard. This involves creating a route for each component that corresponds to the steps in the wizard. Now, the user needs to update the wizard's navigation logic. Instead of using traditional navigation, they should use the history object provided by React Router to change the URL when moving between steps. Finally, the user should ensure that the wizard can handle browser navigation. This means that when a user clicks the back or forward buttons, the correct component should render based on the current URL. Fun fact, did you know that the first web browsers didn't even support URLs? Imagine navigating the web without them. We've come a long way since then. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests that it's perfectly fine to implement permanent URLs in your Redux form wizard. The user emphasizes that the implementation can vary based on your specific needs. To achieve this, you can create a route for each step of the wizard. For example, set up a route for slash with slash name that renders the wizard form component. If the URL is slash name, display the wizard form first page. Now, let's dive into a different answer from another user. One user shares their approach to implementing a Redux form wizard with permanent URLs. They created a component called main content with several routes using React Router. One route is set up to handle profile sections, allowing the URL to change based on the current step in the wizard. In this setup, the profile component receives a profile section prop from the URL. For example, if the URL is profile slash my age, the profile component will load the corresponding form step for the user's age. Each step is rendered conditionally based on the profile section prop. The profile component is stateful and renders each step of the wizard. The steps are created using a higher order component that checks if the profile section matches the current step, rendering the appropriate markup or returning null if it doesn't match. Here's that great tip I promised. Always test your wizard thoroughly. Make sure that all URLs work as expected and that users can navigate back and forth without losing their data. And there you have it. With these steps, your Redux form wizard will have permanent URLs for each page, enhancing the user experience. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.